Hyperloop takes a passenger pod holding a dozen people and rockets it through a tube at 750 miles an hour. It could deliver people from San Francisco to LA in 30 minutes. It could replace trains, planes, and buses. Two, one. In the desert, just outside of Las Vegas, they successfully performed their first full speed, full scale test of their propulsion system. Uh, people who have not had faith, had thought it was science fiction, will begin to believe that it's possible to move people and things this fast. The Hyperloop tube will be depressurized, creating a vacuum, eliminating most air resistance. Using the power of magnets, the pod is thrusted through the tube at high speeds. Capsules carrying the people would depart every 30 seconds with tickets costing as low as $20. The creators of Hyperloop want this to be an affordable means of travel. I hate flying, trains take too long, traffic ruins car travel, so this seems appealing. But we gotta talk about the creepy factor. It feels so claustrophobic. You're locked in this small tube, zooming at 700 miles an hour. A lot of safety concerns come to mind. Like, what if you're in one during an earthquake? Our partners at CNN asked a Hyperloop engineer about that. The system is the most safe system for earthquake because it's gonna be built on pylons and the pylon technology is fairly far along to be able to withstand earthquakes of 8.0. This is happening. They are building this. The company behind this, Hyperloop One, has 150 employees. They've raised over $80 million in funding and new investors are jumping on every month. They hope to be moving cargo as soon as 2019 and they predict they will be ready for passengers by 2021. Gabe Slate, Cron4 News.